Okay, welcome back, Halo followers. Today I want to talk about Pablo Schreiber defending the Halo TV show Tooth and Nell. Now, I don't have anything against the actor. I actually thought he did a pretty good job for the role that he was given in Paramount's TV show. Uh, however, I, I, I really wasn't even considering on making a video about this, but it's just getting to a point where I have to point out something because... I think that he maybe missed the point, and I don't think he'll ever even see this video, but I just want to kind of set the record straight because it's really frustrating. It, it feels almost gaslighty with the way that he's been defending the show, and I believe he's not a Halo fan at heart. He was someone that had to play the games, and he learned about it, uh, but, you know, for the TV show. It wasn't something that he was previously a fan of. He wasn't someone that played games growing up, so, of course, being playing a big role like Master Chief, there might be a little bit of disconnection there that's what the writers are there for and the directors there for to help him become the master chief so what we got in the tv show and i've already done my rants and i, I feel like there's I, I even said back then i said there was going to be more rants coming probably so here we are uh he keeps defending the show as if it was the only reason halo fans disliked it was because it wasn't per se Halo. And I've broken this down many times why I don't think that the TV show was just bad because it wasn't, wasn't Halo. In fact, when I actually went into this watching this show, a lot of people criticized me because I was actually enjoying it. And the way I was able to enjoy it was I looked at this as a $90 million fan project because it wasn't canon. It had no implication, no, although it might, honestly, later down the road, it had no implication on the future of Halo and it had no bearings on it whatsoever. So there was no reason to get stressed and get my panties in a knot. At least until they started really violating the characters and not in just a way from like from the baseline halo story that we all know and love but in its own story it violated its own characters and made people unlikable and there was a lot of thoughtless writing in fact i don't really know how they had two what was it 250 or 264 or something scripts uh rewritten on this series like i don't understand how they wrote that many times and missed such obvious things. I mean, this is such obvious writing. I feel like anyone that is six years old or older could see continuity errors that there was really just just dumb, convenient, lazy writing in a lot of it. And don't even get me started on Quan Ha because Quan Ha, I mean, that is the definition of a bad character. You should not have hundreds of thousands of fans wanting to skip over her scenes. That does not mean that, she, that she's supposed to be a protagonist, all right? She is an unlikable character character because every single moment that she's had a moment to be brave or courageous or any likable trait, she ends up just blowing it and looking like a huge asshole. So Pablo Skyber took to Guardian and he said this, I think this was today or yesterday, people are pissed that their image of who this guy was, which is really tied up in themselves, is being dismantled. Our hope is that that decision to make the first season as uncomfortable as it was for many people will pay off over the course of the long form series. Well, I think it did a couple of things. I think people who did not enjoy it won't be watching anything in the future because the first season was so bad. And also this first season, they've already admitted, the show writers and stuff already admitted that this whole first season was about building character, which I think was probably a good move. But in the way that they did it was just dumb. And I think it was like all over the place. You know, a lot of thoughtless writing, like them not even caring about the profits floating above them during that entire scene. I mean, it would have been really easy for them to just shoot the profits which were completely undefended uh, i just i don't I, I mean they must have seen them on the radar or something you know it's just so much thoughtless writing okay so it's not so much that uh master chief wasn't who we thought he was it's that he's just generally an unlikable character i won't say that they crossed the line of being just awful like Quan, but master chief is like a i mean it's like a child it, he, he literally acts like a child and in the story that makes sense, but that doesn't really inspire a whole lot of likability right now. You know, he just looks like an idiot that, I mean, he, he, he potentially has led the destruction of Reach because of a woman that he met that's worked for the aliens, have killed billions of humans, by the way, and fell in love with her within like six or seven hours, right? 
So I think that's dumb writing. I think that's bad writing, and it makes the character unlikable, especially if he is leading the destruction of Reach, all right? I think that's bad writing. Even even if it was an machinima, even if it was a fan project, I'm saying that that is genuinely bad writing. Uh, so... They say the strength of some reactions has come to no surprise of him. I knew going in that there was very passionate, very, very passionate fan base. I learned early on that there's as many as opinions as in the Halo fan base as there are Halo fans, and we weren't going to be able to please everybody. This I agree with him on. I think that, uh, as well as the other statement where people are really tied up in themselves, there is a lot of headcanon going on, and I've seen that with my animations. I've seen that with the difference of opinions. People do genuinely believe a lot of different things are Halo that aren't Halo at all, uh, or things that people have uh, made assumptions about at a younger age and never really questioned. There is a lot of false lore in people's heads out there and uh yeah that's just that's just what's gonna happen right in a, in a series as big as halo with a lot of different kind of mediums and a lot of people not knowing everything and how things actually are with that being said and, and actually with a little bit of that with the halo tv show i thought some things weren't very lore and i didn't like it and it turned out to be actually lore friendly so you know happened to me happened to my friends things like this happen right it's interesting but yeah there is a lot of headcanon out there and you're definitely not going to be able to please everybody i think the problem with the show is that it it wasn't really written very well i'm not worried about master chief being emotional but i'm worried about him being like actually likable because right now he just comes off as kind of like a fucking idiot you know uh and uh, did that worry him going into the show Nope, he says bluntly, there's not a single part of me that was worried about that. It just comes to the territory, man. So let me comment on Pablo firstly. Uh, I, I have no I have no problems. Okay, I have uh, no problems with him. But, you know, concluding this little breakdown interview thing, uh, I, I gotta say, he did a pretty good job as Master Chief. I think that maybe there could have been a couple better castings out there for Chief. But with what he was given, I think the main issue here is that, well, one, he's, he's I mean, he, why would he, he want to be coming out and saying bad things about the show, even if he did have beliefs that, well, like maybe this thing was better or worse or whatever. But also it doesn't really, really wholly matter. I mean, like his job right now is just playing Master Chief. And I think that as long as he's given a good script, which he wasn't, then he's gonna do a good job. So I really have no problem with him or any other actor or actress. I think they all did pretty good jobs considering what they were given. And so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much my comment on it. I just wanted to set the record straight. I think this show had bad writing and it also didn't value Halo. And the actors did a pretty good job with what they were given, uh, which wasn't that much. And so, yeah, that's what we have here. And I'm hoping season two can learn from it, but that's why I get frustrated by these, these, uh, defenses and, and, and people defending the show at its entirety, even though it did have some good things that I enjoyed, was because it's like, dude, do you not want season two to get better? Because you defending the first season as if it had no issues whatsoever is is just wrong. You know, you're you're defending a show and and this is this could be a really good show, really good series if they if they could rewrite the scripts in season 2, make them way better, get some new writers or at least look at the scripts a little bit longer and be a little bit more creative and not so stupid with the writing and lazy, then I mean this show could be a knockout, but don't keep defending it as if the show was fine and people are only upset because it wasn't lore friendly. I would say that that is very little of what the show is about. If this show was good, I mean, my animations have been proof of it too. Like not trying to like air my own horn, but like, honestly, a lot of my, all my animations aren't lore friendly. And uh, especially the Chief versus Noble Six one wasn't lore friendly and people loved it like crazy and said that that should be done instead of the TV show. And not everyone loved it, but I mean, it had better ratings than this show and it wasn't lore friendly. As long as you respect the values of Halo, which you didn't, then people are going to love people are going to love your show you know so it's not about it being lore friendly i genuinely believe that that is a very small cliff note because there are bigger issues here than just that anyways guys uh sorry i had to brain about this again but uh thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one soon all right take care peace